Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I do have a bonus video for you here today and it's going to be another thread up unboxing and today is the denim unboxing and I ordered this on St. Patrick's Day when they had a 30% off coupon for 30 pounds of DIY denim. I do really like getting this box. Um, there are a ton of items in it that usually have condition issues, but if you can get one to two pairs that are resellable, you can usually make a little bit of a profit. So I'm excited to dive in and see what we received. My name is Lindsay, if you're new here. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and The Real Real. I normally post videos Mondays and Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern, but I do throw in bonus content. So make sure you also hit the bell notification so you don't miss any uploads. And if you like the video tonight, please give me a thumbs up. This box did arrive from Mechanicsburg. If there is anything resellable in here, I will be putting some pricing on the screen. So if you'd like to purchase anything from me directly, I would just need you to send me an email and include your mailing address if you've never purchased from me before. I do bill out through PayPal. I'll send you an invoice. Payment is due upon receipt of the invoice, but I do allow a max of 24 hours. So this one, I'm not gonna be able to give us a top look because it is too heavy to lift up. So we'll go through it one by one. It was ordered on March 17th, like I said, and they run $32. You pay $9.99 shipping, which is not bad considering the weight of the box and tax. And if you can get a couple decent brands in here, in my opinion, it's definitely worth the money. And they did fold everything up nicely in here. Our first pair are a pair of Wranglers. And these are a 34, 36. And they are a um, black denim. And it looks like they're in pretty good shape. There's the label on the back. Our zipper works. And let's see if it says what kind of style these are. There is a style number in there, um, but it does not specify. But it looks like they're just kind of like a straight leg, um, but in good condition. So I'll have to see if I would um, list these or not. It would definitely depend on the other items that come in the box. But not a bad start. At least they're in good shape. Next up, we have Good American. And these are a size 16. So that is very good. They do have distressing. I'm sure that is part of the normal style of the jean. And these definitely look like a mom jean style. Light wash. And they are a zip fly. That works. And these do have a style number in there, so I can try to see what they are. Um, but these look like they're in good condition. I don't see any staining on them. I don't think this brand resells as well as it may have in the past, but um, it should still comp out pretty good. And I imagine that will cover a lot of the box. So that is a great pair and definitely one that I would list. I'm hoping we get some um, Adriano Goldschmidt in here. I like selling that brand. Um, these are WT02. I have never heard of that brand before. They're like a gray denim and a 3232. And they do have that detail on the back. And these are a really lightweight. I don't see any major flaws with them. There's really, you know, no noticeable pulling. So maybe these are a good brand, I don't know. Um, but they're very thin. On the thin side, they'd be nice for spring. And just a little bit um, of pilling in between the legs, the fabric is a little bit thinner there. 
but overall those are in sellable condition. So I will research that brand and see what I can find out. Next up we have All Saints, wow. So that is great. Um, these are like a khaki colored and these are the Rex in a size 3430. These ones are a button fly. So I would imagine these are men's jeans. And they even still have the strings on the back. Someone didn't cut the tag off completely. So it looks like these um, are in very good condition. The other thing you wanna check on, the, on this box is just to make sure that the jeans haven't been altered. Um, you know, I always do measurements when I list them on Poshmark. It looks like the hem here may have been altered, so I would definitely need to get an inseam measurement. Um, and they seem a little bit short, so I will um, have to research those. But they're still sellable and in very good shape. So, so far some very good brands. Um, next up is Democracy, which is also a good brand. And these are a size 10 in the Ab Technology. Their jeans are really stretchy and flattering along the waist. Um, and these ones, I'm also not seeing a lot of that crotch pulling. Um, they look like very good condition. So um, I do think these are, are resellable as well. And these ones do have a raw hem. I don't know if that is natural to the jean or if someone cut them. So I will have to look into that, but overall they are in good shape. Next we have Signature by Levi Strauss. These are a pull on skinny and totally shaping. And these ones do have a little bit of pulling, but not terrible. And they're in pretty good shape. I definitely think those are still resellable. These ones are a size 10, uh, 10 medium. Um, the width is 30 by 30. So I'm um, a nice skinny with the elastic waist. And we are getting some good sizes in here so far. Next up, we have guest jeans and a 34. These are the Cliff Boot Fit. And these ones are also not in bad condition. They definitely have been worn quite a bit. Um, the fabric is real thin in some spots, but um, looks like they still have some life left. They did get some fraying on the hems, but they're definitely some broken in jeans. I don't think I would list these ones just based on the condition, but they're really not terrible. So I think someone could still give these a new home. So not bad. Next up, we have another pair of guests. I don't think I've ever gotten guest jeans in these boxes before. This one is also the Cliff in a 34. Zip fly. This is a darker wash than the other one and does have some distressing. So these are um, definitely also worn along the hem. Not as bad as the other ones. So these um, aren't, aren't too bad. I would say these ones are in better shape than the other ones. So I will look into those. We have some white jeans and these are Alberto in a regular fit luxury T400. So I don't know about this brand, but they look pretty nice. It has like a laser cut uh, label on there. These are the um, Okio Tex Standard 100. And these are a 3830 light denim regular fit. 
So I'm excited to look up this brand. Um, I think that they are in very good shape. White denim, I don't see any stains on there. So possibly these weren't even worn. So that's exciting. Getting a good mix of men's jeans in here too. Um, we have seven for all mankind. And these are a 34 and these are the straight. And our zipper is functioning. These ones also look like they are in good condition. Just kind of a basic wash. There's really no distressing or whiskering. The hems are in good shape. So those are nice as well. So this is a great box. It's definitely better than the last one I received. We have something brand new here. These are Levi's 501 in a 3030. They're high rise, fitted through the hip and thigh, straight leg. So I would definitely list these ones. They are a button fly, brand new with tag. So those are great. Really none that are in awful condition so far. Uh, next we have Riders by Lee. And these ones are a zip fly. I would probably not list these. Um, they are a size 20. It says 20 W P. So I don't know if that is possibly a petite length, but they are a size 20 waist and those are in very good shape. Really no wear on the hems. So those are really good. Sometimes you even can get denim jackets in these boxes. I think mine are all jeans from what I can see. Um, we have another seven for all mankind. These are the slimy. And these are a little bit darker wash. And um, they're in good condition. These ones may have been altered on the length. They look a little bit crooked possibly. So I will have to um, look into that. So again, that's something you need to be careful with in this box before you try to sell them. Um, but otherwise they look like they're in good shape. These are a size 36. So I will check those out. And next we have a, we do have a jacket in here. This is Zara. And this definitely looks like it was well loved. It is a large, it is an acid wash button up denim jacket. And I think it is in good condition. It has a button on the sleeve and that is present on both of those. And it does have a front pocket with a button, two, two buttons on each pocket, or each pocket has one button. Those are all there. And we do have all the buttons on the front too, so that's nice. That is definitely a sellable item as well. Zara is not always worth listing, but um, I will check that out. And um, we do have something else brand new with the take in there. These are Old Navy. These are the ultra high rise skinny, high wide leg with secret smooth pockets and they're 20. So very good sizes in this box. They do have the raw hem. And they are a zip fly that works. And it looks like these are in good condition. There's really no pilling between the legs. So that is great. Very nice pair. I don't always list Old Navy, um, but those are a good size. But I think there's definitely enough to make a profit with only listing a couple of these items. We have Good Heart Jeans. And See if these ones have a size. 
It looks like the interior, um, here it is. They're a 14. They're the high rise stove pipe. And they're from November of 2021. And they're like a light wash with a little bit of distressing. And these also don't really have any pulling on them that I'm seeing. And they do have a raw hem. So some decent styles in here. We're really not getting a ton of skinny jeans. These ones are a zip fly and that works. And it does have a YKK zipper. So hopefully these are a decent brand. So those are good. Next we have um, Goodfellow jeans. And these are brand new with the tag. They are a 4032. And they are a, a straight jean, fuller through the hip and thigh. Um, straight leg, total flex, and a dark denim. And these I believe are a Target jean and they had a retail price of $27.99. So I would still definitely list those since they're brand new. So very nice. Liking those. We have just a few more pairs here. Um, we have another pair of Zara. This is a USA 30. They definitely look on the tiny side, um, but they do have a little bit of stretch to them. These are a zip fly. And also, they look like they're in pretty good shape. It does not say what style these are, um, but they look like a skinny. Um, and they do have sl uh, some slight stretch to them. And I think those are in good shape. So I will check those out. And I think we have three more items here. This is um, Gap 1969. And these are like a brown denim, I believe. And they are a size 30, where did I see that at? 34, 32. And these ones do have a little bit of the pulling around the zipper. But, um, you know, not terrible, but I don't know if I would list those ones just based on the condition and the fact that I have a lot of other great items in here. Um, but it's definitely not bad. Very minor pulling. And we have another jacket in here. Um, this is BDG, Urban Outfitters. And this is... Um, Probably what was taking up some of the weight in the box. This is definitely weighty. A medium wash. And this one, let's see if we have a size in here. It's a large. So I don't know if this is men's or women's. It's looking like it might be men's. It's quite large but it's in good condition. I don't see any staining or um, holes or anything in it. So that's a great piece. And last up, there is Hollister. These are a 34 waist, the skinny denim short. So those are um, nice as well. I would maybe list those going into spring. They have some distressing on them. And they look pretty good on the front. I'm not really seeing polling on these. Um, Hollister Epic Flex, and they are a zip fly, and that works. So I'm super impressed with this box. It's definitely a great box. And really, not one item was in terrible shape. Um, just need to look at a couple that could possibly be altered. But overall, um, this was a great box. So definitely going to be a nice profit in here. Let me know what your thoughts are. I thought there was some really great, great brands. Good American, All Saints, um, a couple I'm not familiar with, um, but I can definitely see this turning into a nice profit. So let me know what your thoughts are. I appreciate you tuning in for this bonus video, and I will see you back soon with another unboxing. I hope you have a great day.